The biggest, but the youngest. You know? The biggest, but the youngest. No cap. It's both Elves of the legs. Y'all already know it's feel that we feeling we hey, LA hey. filming this in now. Shout out on the couch TV. I'm gonna fuck with the game. I ain't gonna lie, you can walk through this bitch. See how this good. This 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 bitch ain't even you know. Jam B Lil Blast, 90 is kind low, low game, Jam B. Lil Mo Land. <laughs> Yeah, right, so if somebody who ain't from around there, is it safe to just come around? We not one of them dudes that just get on ads. If you don't fuck with the ops, you can come around, but if you fuck with the ops, you can come around. It be too much walking shit. And, and I don't even fuck with a lot of my own homies, so fuck niggas. So how was it growing up around there? You better get out for the vlog, man. Shit, at first, everything was, everything was all, all, I was hooping at first, man. Me and Blood and we was on some hooping shit. Circumstances occurred uh, to us. We inherited the beef and shit, shit changed. For the majority of shit, we was hooping. We was cold as hell. We was one of the rawest. Couldn't nobody fuck with us in that area, you know? okay. But for the most part, shit, it was more structured. When I first got around that motherfucker, love and I was living around that whole life. But I could tell there was more structure growing up, but now, fuck niggas, man. Ain't nobody listening to nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I see you said you was hooping and all that. So did that prevent you from doing a lot of bad shit as a kid? I was still, <laughs> I was still doing it. It was, it was still. I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know. Shit, motherfuckers, I was hooping them. The whole eighth grade basketball team got almost got expelled on stone because we was beating ass or just. It was, I don't know, just miscellaneous shit, bro. It never was no bad shit. Motherfucker probably have a fight in and uh, some shit, but. but we had cool ass teachers and shit, so um, we we was really on some hooping shit for real. Game game on that team, play that super tough role. My fuck was playing ball until like you went to high school with me, to a junior year. Shit got bad. Uh, I had to stop. The shit was getting very really active. You know? For the, for the most part, I grew up. Motherfucker ain't have to really be no super tough motherfucker because we had motherfuckers on our ass making sure shit. We had super. But if you want to gang bang, you can gang bang for shit show. Yeah. Well, my crowd of niggas lived on some hooping. Fresh, getting money. Trying to scam eBay. Hang on that time. Now, looking back on the time, Chicago was like really the murder capital from. 2010 for real, almost to like 2017. Can you speak on like how it was in that era? And just being a kid in the Chicago area? From, from the time you just named, that's when I lost yeah, shit. The closest ones, I think. In between them times, 2010 and 2017, I think. Like, they're rocking in between that time. Uh, straight, straight. All them numbers in between that time. But, shit, for the most part, Made a motherfucker move different. Then I'm going to school and the shit. Like I'm seeing the shit firsthand. Like what's going on? Dang, y'all beating motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 you could not be a BD going to Dunbar. Uh, motherfuckers getting their ass beat on firsthand. Pumpkin heads. Yeah, I was cool. Though. All that. I, was, I just damn my lane. I'm not no super tall. I just damn my lane. <laughs> so, what age did you say you jumped out into the streets? That was shit, man. What is it? Shit, you nervous as shit. You know, man, you thought I was shit early, man. Shit. You know, after that, everybody. Oh, no, for real. 
Cause he, that's, that's, that's my partner in crime for real. I'm like, every, what age motherfuckers started really, like, what that was? Was that 8th grade? 8th grade? Yeah. Cause then I said, really before 8th That's what I'm saying though, you said, it's just that shit regular. It was like, I've always been outside. Out like, type shit, but we was, we was, like I said, from we was hooping and scamming, so we was, we weren't thinking about no shit, you know? Hey, we birthday. just trying to think about how my folks I'll say, like, really. You look like T. Yeah. Yeah. When, when I'll say, when I had Asian dogs, when my big brother said that, 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 that shit changed all of us. When Bro Dad just showed us. Bro Dad said he was going to go to college and shit and hoop. But when Bro Dad, I'll say that's when shit went downhill. I can't. Me. Bro. So what? 15, 16, what, well, going up until junior year, my shit started really getting real, basically, I'll say, because you know me, bro, I want no super tough nigga and dumb guy, but I was always what I would gain, I want no, you know, I want no, you know. Now, most people probably don't know you hoop, and uh, why you ain't take it to the next level? I had a bitch-ass coach named DK. He's as used to chastise me for, for smoking weed. Everybody else was doing it. But it was something he, he had against me, gang. I don't know. Folks had. Yeah, DK. Um, DK, he the reason why I didn't go far. His ass was on some bullshit. And plus, shit, the ops called me. They called me before I got hurt one day. You know we had a mercy in Dumbbell, so they give me some crutches and shit. The ops catch me on the, on the bus with the crutches, folks. So chase me down. I'm, I'm, I'm crying. Yeah, I mean, it's over. Like it's over, man. Yeah. That shit. Yeah. And I start hanging with y'all ass, getting high with y'all ass in the metro station and shit. He get fuck basketball. I don't get high with y'all shit. Oh, y'all going through the same shit I'm going through. And gang, now at this point, I always want to up to the shit. Who got some? You ain't talking so you went to high school? Yeah, you went to high school around the time where Timo went there, uh, Fuck 3 Mello, Sack Boy, TV. So what was the atmosphere like, all these really Chicago idols, not idols, but like really Chicago people going there that made a name for themselves? Oh, Lil Ron went there too. Lil Ron went there too. Shit, phone number was cool as hell. When nobody, it's just everybody was, you know, this bitch getting that boss. Oh, gay. But yeah, if one was cool as hell, because one of those ops coming in there, and if you was an op, you had to be your ass up. So, yeah, it ain't too much, none of that. Yeah, it, was, it was all love, see. But TV now, I, I, TV he is knocking niggas out. Motherfuckers don't know Bub can hoop. Shit. Who else you just named? Timo. Folks ass was just a gambler on Stone. A fresh ass gambler. Folks ass coming to come school. Gambler all day up in the second floor bathroom. Shit. And Loran, shit. He was, folks was, he was just to himself, basically. Me and that nigga used to walk from the train every yeah, day. Grabbing. First and first. First and first. Let me know if I'm on camera now, please. No, no, ma. Now, 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 look. Now, look, ma. Now, look, ma. Still behind him if you don't want to get on camera. Okay, well, let me know before y'all stop filming this bitch. Let me know. <laughs> you can put that on there, though. For sure, you know what's going on, ma. Yeah. Now, most people don't get a chance to like stick their nose outside of their city and go to college. So, as a, as a kid from Chicago, can you speak on? I was one of them niggas in college. If you know, you know. I was punching niggas up in college. I was one of them niggas in college. You know, 
You know, fuck the town out. One of them niggas in college. Literally. What they not? So, what was one of the wildest things you probably could say you did to for the audience? One of the wildest things I did? Yeah. Off the van, I punched the ace. And I was like, I'm stoned, man. I know how they get. I'm off the van. I'm off the van. Stone. My, my, my brother Monte and I'm coming down right now. You know, y'all used to have block parties and shit. Uh, yeah, I'll rock. 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 i will rock i Ball, I the I Me. That was just little music. This shit for gang right now. Oh, oh, who did you listen to growing up? Who would you say, brother, inspired your rap to Her, me. Yeah. 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 Niggas like uh, Joel Santana, Hell Real. I like old school niggas like Jada Kids. Like my daddy. Like, I am like, now my daddy. He's an old school nigga. I don't know. It's been busted, uncut. No bad. What gotta be in that in the studio for you to get in that mode for you to drop some shit? I know. I gotta be out to see some fans or some ads. Depending on my mood. So what inspired you to rap? Because I feel like we didn't really get it up in there. So yeah. On gang, up the ops. On Stone, I'm gonna be specific. The ops making weak ass music. And then, I always like the niggas I listen to growing you know, up. I always, I always like the you know, words. So I was in Shorty, I go play with the, the voice record shit up on your phone. Play with that, put the you put me all close to the phone on the TV recording. Yeah, now, now, now my main started to get a little blood now. I'm gonna start dropping it. So most of the fans though when they uh when they see Measle name, they assume that he was with STL, FBG, but they don't really know that he was really from another hood. So how was it to see him like low key doing this thing before he unfortunately passed away? Uh, yeah. I, I know, I respect and I love it. I love how y'all, how y'all care for my thoughts. Yeah. Hey, man, bro, a lot of motherfuckers don't know me, bro, you can get into it about that shit right there. You are a bro. bro, what the fuck is you doing, bro? I'm stoned. Folks that got shot in the dark, man, bro, had some shit going on with each other. He was tweaking on him on Facebook, me and folks see each other. He pull up in front of my crib. I try to go get the weed from this long we live. I get that one up. Ooh, I'm gonna get down with a shot, man. Ooh, you my brother, boy, stop tweaking. I'm in here with S3 and in here with S3 and town, boy. Two PC Alpha. Shit, they love them. They, they, they care for them, shit. You can't blame them, shit. I, I love them like I'm the shit. Now, game. Shit, that, that music from the town. First day out. I can show y'all a picture. Y'all go on this Facebook. This first day out of jail. I was on the gate with his ass. Oh, gang. I'm here. First day out. He's back to him. But yeah. I spoke to him. I think it's BCI. 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 I'm finna drop. I was supposed to shoot a video today. I'm finna drop. What's the day? What's the what's, what's the day on what's the day on your phone so I can do it? Eighth. It's the eighth right now today. It's the eighth. I'll drop before the end of my my stream. I think I'm gonna drop an LLC or a sleazy real stream. I don't know. So I got a boat. I got a lot of shit. I just be real life shit be going on behind me now when we drop. Or change my whole temple to make me want to erase all that shit. 
Now I'm exposed, niggas. I'm not over shit back, niggas that are real. Bitches, I'm on all that. I'm all natural. And ain't no nigga gonna do shit to me. Last nigga that tried to do something to me, got his shit in town. Then when you drop that first song, man, did you expect it to go that crazy? You booted my shit up. We gonna out the only But I ain't gonna lie, I got some shit um, under G Westbrook. I got a couple thousand views. I just changed my name too much, but <laughs> so I got it. <laughs> yeah, not a I got a steady fan base in Ohio. <laughs> in Ohio, so you know we fucking with me. I fuck with me. No, I didn't. I ain't think that bitch was going to go up that way. No. And if I was one of these niggas that paid for views, I would have really been taking over the city. I would be fan for you. I would be fan for you. And I'm going to say this. I will vlog it. Only be dick sucking, O blocking, STL. No, no, no disrespect. But it's different hoods around, gang. Y'all, let, let both of them get a break. Let them get off the radar. Damn, y'all be on this. The score was everywhere. What you think? What you think Chicago got to do different for all, for all the artists at least to come together and get a bag together, like cities like Atlanta or New York or even California? Niggas homies need to support their homies more. Niggas will be it. Don't, it don't it don't you see niggas old niggas behind them in Atlanta? You don't just see one nigga in the video, old niggas in the video, niggas old villages popping out. Yeah, you gotta really be having a bug then. When you get your bug, that's the nigga wanna pop out No. The biggest what's one of the biggest life lessons you learned in these streets, man? I'm gonna tell y'all short is like this. Herb said it if you in school, niggas can't school. You gotta die, niggas. Stay working. You're not doing anything with your money. Streets ain't no good outcome coming from this shit, nigga. Snake. Ryan, you can't trust none of these niggas. This shit ain't no good outcome. Hey, let's go! Stop, stop, come out, come out! Ain't no real? Who? Hey, yo, Ryan, you got a real shit. Oh, with her right now. Yeah, we at the You know, we went out there and did that shit bang regardless. They ain't do that. But yeah, how you fucking about? But man, who is some artist in the city you might be going to work with? Damn 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 What's your thoughts on the Chicago rap scene right now? You got people like Nook blowing up, got uh, Bobo blowing up. Nook weak as hell. He straight garbage rap. That shit trash man. Elementary school. That shit weak. But he make catchy songs, but that shit weak. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bobo be talking that shit. Bobo be talking shit. Lil be talking that shit. I don't know if Lil be talking that shit. DCG uh, you know we talking that shit. Little so Limit Dress again, you know we talking that shit. My oh, boy Bubba just dropped. Uh, Lane just dropped. Lane just dropped. Rack. Polo. Polo. Polo Rack. CSGJ Rack. I fuck with only niggas I know. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. That Coco, that Coco's got the guy, he's gonna be great. I'm gonna fuck with her. I like her. I listen to her. I know. I know you gonna own her. I got a lot of homies there. I listen to her. So if you wasn't rapping right now, what you think you would be doing? I don't like it. Yeah. Rapping came when I started game. I was with game bang and I was.
I'm the demon, but I'm proud of the scholarship. I've been a mom, senior, so proud of the government. I'm a senior. I've been a mom, senior. I'm going to go back when I get off paper. I got to get off paper. I'm going to go back to the state. I'm going to go back to the church. Man, who are your homies that rap? I heard you say you only fuck with niggas you know, and I heard you say somebody else, JMB. Oh, yeah, JMB News, 